Hey, welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee, OG style. Yeah, we're going to do an audio today because why? Because I woke up way late and that was crazy. I'm really glad my body got to sleep so much. However, my brain had things to do. I'm surprised it didn't wake up my body. I got a family commitment today, a couple of client sessions and I need to get moving. I really, really want to connect with you though. I know how important consistency is. You find a rhythm. And when that rhythm gets disrupted, it's a little, it's not, well, it's disappointing, but it also kind of, it can set a ripple into your week or your day in a way that's maybe not, not as positive as it could be. It could be a disruption. So I'm, I really do value consistency, rhythm, and showing up. You guys know that. I really value that. So although there's this time of massive change and shift for me in my life, and each and every one of you has your own things, I know. You guys have a lot going on. Let's just stop for a second. Can we just stop for a minute and talk about you? Let's talk about you for a minute, okay? I'm talking to you, you individual listener. I had to get a sip of coffee for this one. I'm talking to you. You have so much to handle and you are fucking doing it. I know, I know, I know. It doesn't feel like it, right? Or you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I wasn't handling it. I don't think I'm handling it. I think I'm going nuts, all this stuff. But the fact that you have the wherewithal to even acknowledge the weight that you carry says a lot, a lot about how you show up. I'm not impressed by how much you're doing. I am inspired by how much you claim awareness for how the things in your life are impacting you and where you can, when you can, you make choices. Choices that can sometimes impact the people around us and cause them to not be so happy with us. You know, that big disappointment word comes up. And then we get pressure. And as you are an empath, you are so empathic, which means you feel everybody else's stuff. So it's really hard for you to say no. And maybe now it's not so hard to say no, but now you feel like a total bitch when you say no all the time. You feel like you're angry and crabby at the world. Oh, my friend, I'm just going to tell you, that is called stress. That is stress. And despite all the stress loads that you have and the pulls and the tugs at your energy, not even the human stuff, but the energetic stuff that, that is like working its way under your skin, like you're handling it. You are managing this life. And I know some days are not so graceful. Some days are filled with, damn, was I even productive today? What the hell did I do? I mean, how many times did you run up and down the stairs because you forgot what you went upstairs for? Okay, okay, that's not just like an old person thing or a hormonal thing. That is a stress thing. Yeah, it means you have a lot of energy that is moving through you and around you. And yeah, my friend, you are affected by that. You are. You are. So just let's just stop for a minute. Let's have a nice drink of coffee here. Just a minute. Hmm. And let's just feel into you, the incredible awesomeness of you. Because just showing up, Just showing up is the reward. You are the prize. (laughs) You're the grand prize. You know why? Because when you show up over and over and over again, I know sometimes, I know, I know. It doesn't make sense every day. Things don't make sense. They're not supposed to because guess what? You're not just ruled by your brain. You are a beautiful, brilliant, intuitive body, a gorgeous and shining spirit and an unbelievably unfolding, expanded heart. So it's, you know, there's a reason why things don't make sense because they're not supposed to. 
Stop wasting your energy and your time trying to figure it, it out. It's not time for that. It's time to just feel into you right now and just say, hey, I'm doing it. I'm showing up. And it might not be in action. You might not be taking these bold steps or doing these bold things. But you know what? Just getting out of bed is a bold move these days. Have you felt the energetics of the world? Um, yes. And what about the cosmos and the universe and the astrology? Because you are made of stardust. And because of that, you sparkle in different ways that sometimes your body doesn't, doesn't really make sense of. So let's just take a minute of gratitude for you. Okay, cheers to you for doing this thing, this life thing, okay? And then and, and there's a purpose for it. It's not just a mundane hamster wheel. Don't feel like you aren't doing it right or you are not doing enough or you're not doing, I'm telling you how to feel. Don't you love it when people do that? Doesn't that, doesn't that just really work for you when somebody says, oh, don't feel like that. Oh, yes. Oh, oh I'm sorry. You're such a genius and a brilliant consultant for me and wise one. Oh, you know more about me than I do. So yeah. Oh, oh my God, you're so right. I will just not be that way. Thanks for telling me how to feel. Hey, I'm sorry about that, you guys. You know, like I'm human. Like I have an ego brain too that just says, well, don't feel like that. Feel however the fuck you want to feel and acknowledge that all of those feelings are valid and have a place. So right now in this moment, just feel, be, be you, be in your you and it might, you might feel like a blob. You might feel pretty good. You might feel accomplished. You may have just been super productive. Or you might feel kind of sad because maybe maybe you just got some sad news or or some of you might you might have some worry feeling. I have some worry feeling. I have some stressors personally. Wherever you are, be here now in your space and take up the fucking room. Take up the space. You're not sucking the air out of the room. You are the light in the room. Did you hear me? Did you hear that? You are not sucking the air out of the room. You are not making people feel bad and making the room in a bad mood. And blah, 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 blah. Oh, if you had that much influence, can you imagine how great the world would be? Because you could be just shining your awesomeness and everybody would just be magically responding in awesomeness back. Doesn't happen that way, does it? You are not sucking the air out of the room. You are the light in the room. You are the light in the center of the universe. And I feel you right now. And I'm just going to tap on your little belly. Do you mind if I do that? Let's just tap our bellies. I know, I know. The first thing that might come through is judgment, or it might feel odd to actually touch your body. If it does feel odd to touch your body, like your stomach or your heart, oh my gosh, start just doing that because your body misses you. Your body needs you your body deserves appreciation. Your body is not the bad guy or the bad girl or the bad one that makes your life hard, even if you do struggle with illness or disease. Your body is not the bad guy. Your body is extraordinarily intuitive and in trying to hold you as a sacred container. That's what your body does. So touch it. Touch your belly. Even if you got ripples and rolls and bumples and yumples and whatever, touch your belly. And feel your body breathe. Take a nice breath in if you can. And just a full exhale so you feel really squishy in the middle. Feel so squishy. Squishy belly, squishy belly. Hey, I'm, I'm with you, right? Squishy bellies, it's hard, but squishy bellies are beautiful. Our bellies are so soft. Our bodies can be so soft and squishy. And I think that's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You are beautiful in this now moment because you showed up because that's what you do. You are present for life. Giving yourself every opportunity to feel. Feel your squishy belly. How come, how come we like rub our dog's bellies or our cat's bellies or a little baby belly rolly skin and be like, oh, you're so squishy and so cute. But when it comes to touching our bellies, it's kind of like, mm, it's not flat. Well, of course it's not flat, my dear. First, you're sitting down and you're all hunched over. And two, 
uh, bodies are not meant to be flat. We're not Barbies. <laughs> I saw the movie, yes. We should do a whole Sunday morning coffee about that. And maybe we will. <laughs> we're not plastic. We're people. We're human. And we change. Our bodies change. And that's on point. It's supposed to change. And oh my God, let me just tell you, I am so hormonally in menopause. And the way the body, all of a sudden, literally you wake up one day and your body is so different. I'm like, wait, what just happened here? I got all this skin like hanging around around my belly. I'm like, well, wait, what? And oh my goodness, there's so many, there's so many different things I can't even begin to explain because that's not what this podcast is about. And you're probably not that interested in it in this moment. However, some of you can relate to me. The body changes. And it reminds us of all the seasoning we've had, all the marinating we've done all this lifetime thus far, this lifetime. Forget about the past lifetimes. What about this lifetime, girlfriend? You have shown up over and over for the first marriage, for the second marriage, for the third marriage, for the first. Okay, no judgment, no judgment. For the kid, for the graduation, for the childbirth, for the neighbor, for the best friend, for the moving to one state, moving to another state, for the starting the new career, for the stopping the old career, for the new education, for the new class you're taking, for the new book you're reading, for the new, the, all of that. There's all these things that have contributed to the beautiful seasoned essence that you are. You are so experienced. I don't care if you're listening to me and you're 20 or you're 80. You've been living life. And I'm so, so proud of you for showing up through the stress, through the pain, through the COVID, through the job change, through the worry about your kids, through the addiction pieces, through the uncertainties of of everything that shows up because that is life and you have under your belt lots and lots of practice. Lots of it. So it's okay some days if you don't feel like you have your shit together because uh, newsflash, nobody does. They just pretend to or they show up on the days that they do and that's fine because some days you do too, don't you? Some days don't you just go, oh, yes, yes, yes. You're hitting all the green lights. (laughs) You're driving down the road. Yay you. And some days you're like, I cannot get out of bed. I cannot take a shower and I have to go to work. I cannot deal with one more client or customer or somebody yelling at me or vendor or bill, or kid, or spouse. You're human. And, and, you, you, your soul, a magnificent shining light. You are the light in the room. You are the energy that you are seeking. You are the inspiration because of you. You truly are beautiful. You are the reason I got out of bed this morning. I jumped out of bed and was like, oh, I got to do Sunday morning coffee. And had I not put the eye patches under my eyes, I might actually actually be doing this on a video. You know? (laughs) And over time, I'll figure it out. I'll find a rhythm because of, uh, you know, in the townhouse here, we've got kind of unstable internet sometimes. And it just, I'll figure things out just like you have, just like you are. Just like you are, you, I, I cannot, I am not, I cannot tell you more from my heart, from my truth, from my center core, how much you impress me and inspire me. Honestly, this is my truth. You are, you are so, so inspiring to me. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being you in the Eunice that you are today. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for staying in this lifetime, even though there have been fucking crossroads that you could have taken exit points and left. You didn't. You stayed. You stayed here in this body, in this life, and that takes guts and that takes courage. And so I honor you in this now moment. I honor you. You made it to this point. 
And he didn't just come this far to only come this far. I love that quote. I actually don't even have it written on anything. I should. I didn't come this far to only come this far. Hey, I appreciate you. I see you. I feel you. In your unique shining light that you are, you contribute so much to this world. And I know because I feel it every week on Above Life Channel. I feel it every week. You have no idea how much you are the kindling for my fire, my passions, my life purpose. You do make a huge difference. You make an impact. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, and our squishy bellies, it's like we're Care Bears. Above Life Channel, Sunday morning coffee listeners, unite. (laughs) Light comes out our belly like Care Bears. Anybody know that reference? Youngsters, you're going to have to Google it. Google the Care Bears. Care Bear stare. Okay, now I'm getting goofy. I got to finish my coffee and get about my day, take off these puffy eye patch things. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you to my friend who recommended them. Eyes, my eyes are so puffy here in the morning, so I'm like, oh, you know, puffy eye patches. It's the start of the week. It's the start of the day. I look forward to uh, connecting with you again. I hope I've inspired your spirit and filled you with hope today. Alexa, turn off. <laughs> I think it's Alexa that's setting an alarm. Yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh, I have to get used to this. Thank you so much for being here. I hope I've inspired your spirit, encouraged you to live your life. This is your life after all, and you are living it. Just show up and live it. That's how we do it. Thanks for being here.